Hey, what's up everybody? This is Ken Shaw coming at you live from Mark Miller Toyota here in downtown Salt Lake City. Got a couple of good reasons to consider the 4Runner over the FJ Cruiser. So to start off with just a couple, uh, a couple tech specs. You've got uh, in the FJ Cruiser, you've got cargo space of uh, 27 Point nine versus 47.2 yeah 47.2 that is correct so quite a bit more room you've also got a much larger uh, fuel tank in the uh, or larger fuel tank anyway in the forerunner so you've got 23 versus 19 you've got a extended range a little bit better gas mileage in the forerunner as well and then you've got a ton of different trim levels and uh, interiors to choose from in the forerunner versus the FJ Cruiser. So kind of more creature comforts. You've got cloth, you've got this soft text material, which is a Toyota proprietary material. It's bulletproof, wears very well, and then of course leather. So you've got that. You've also got a bunch of different trim levels, SR5, SR5 Premium, Off-Road, Off-Road Premium, Limited, and then of course the TRD Pro. So well, a couple things though that I really want to focus on that I really like, just kind of more of the creature comforts and the differences between the two. The, uh, when you come over here, one of the biggest complaints I've always heard about the FJ Cruiser, everybody always loves the styling, thinks they're awesome, they do great off-road, super reliable, everything. But you've got this piece right here. This is called your B-pillar. And so uh, when we open up this suicide door here, um, it's kind of reinforcing the, uh, the vehicle. So because of that, it's very, very wide here, as you can see. And it causes what a lot of people uh, complain about, which is blind spots on this vehicle. Uh, so on the 4Runner, you don't run into that problem. You've got more of a normal sized uh, B pillar, as you can see right here. And, and the visibility throughout the entire vehicle is awesome. The other thing is a lot of people will complain about the size of the back seat here. So it, it is pretty cramped. It's a lot smaller. Uh, as you can see, you've got to open the front door in order to gain access to the back door. Whereas with the 4Runner, we've got just a normal back door. It's got its own window, goes up and down, and actually a ton more room. I'm six foot two, and I can fit back there very, very readily, uh, a lot more comfortably than I can in the FJ Cruiser. A couple of the other things that I really like, more creature comforts. For example, here, and, and this right here, this is the off-road premium. So the interior here is the soft tax. Again, that's just this really bulletproof, low maintenance material. Um, but a couple things that I like is the really large, bright screen, 6.1 inch screen, integrated navigation, has the uh, Entune from Toyota, their proprietary uh, infotainment system. But you have the availability of like sunroofs, couldn't get that before. Um, the backup camera, when we go into reverse, comes right through the screen, which is really nice. Nice big screen so you can see uh, very clearly. So that's just a couple of things I really like about the uh, 4Runner over the FJ Cruiser. If we can help you, we'd love to love to help you out. Our number here, Mark Miller Toyota, 801-415-3110 or 801-364-2100. Thank you.